interesting how those scriptures in the Old Testament, the Tanakh, seem to carry a lot of stories of, number one, a, a different God altogether. Number two, a lot of legendary, spectacular events. Events and, and, and situations, circumstances, and stories that are very hard to believe if somebody just tried to go around claiming that they are happening today kind of strange because they're the very same things that for whatever reason kind of very similar stories and, and fashions of storytelling that are in other mythological books that a Christian would reject outright would, would, would claim to be false without even thinking twice about the claims of the book but yet these same style of legendary and powerful stories grandiose events Christians readily accept Adam and Eve, one man, one woman, that was at the beginning of creation. A perfect garden, and then a talking serpent that deceives Eve. Gets her to bite into this forbidden fruit. All of this that we see around us right now, over a forbidden fruit, because it was bitten upon, and the command was not to. Wow, pretty interesting. All this. You got this devastating story of, 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 of Adam and Eve being kicked out of the garden. You have all these different things happening. You, you have then from there you have Noah and the ark. This, 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 this legendary story of one man and his family being saved by this huge boat out of this massive flood. Interesting. Then you have further on down the line Moses and the great story of the Exodus and, and these ten great plagues that came upon Egypt. From there, him speak God speaking out of heaven and shaking the earth and all these various things, giving and delivering to Moses the Ten Commandments. The, 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 the stories of David and Goliath, uh, the, the great prophet Elijah and all that he was that, that he did. The, the various mighty wars that took place. It's kind of strange, all these things, because they seem very similar to other stories at that time. Legendary events that would be hard to believe. But yet they're written, they're in books. They're believed on by certain people. I wouldn't say nowhere near the majority like Christianity, but that's a whole different story. That That's neither here nor there. But let's just say they're out there. Then you go to the New Testament and things change. You don't have these big legendary stories taking place. Grandiose events. Mighty powers being demonstrated across the heavens and the earth. Now you have quote unquote Jesus. Whom a majority of the Christian sects out there believe to be the God man. Some do deny that. And accept that he was just a man who was directly connected with God via the spirit either way it's kind of similar to other stories around that time frame of other God men or men that were directly uh, empowered by God men, men that spoke on behalf of God great heroes of the time all these various things seem, seem very similar no more did you have the whole tribal affair like you had then these tribal wars these, these nations going against nations setting up dominance over the world like you then had here now it's just all about one man and his mighty message and then of course in the end uh, this whole big deal about death and resurrection hmm interesting and then now of course conveniently none of these things happen outside of the scriptures and I find myself asking myself well, where, where's all this stuff at just like none of the things that the various mythologies of the past and ancient religions and fairy tales and myths and Greek mythology, all those things, you don't see those around. 
but neither do you see the things that scripture spoke about where are these big miracles and instantaneous healings and powers being demonstrated in the book of Acts you had people that were still after Jesus' death resurrecting the dead causing the blind to see being, people being instantaneously not, not a week, month, a year down the line don't instantaneously heal by article of clothing <laughs> articles of clothing people what are you talking about all these mighty things happening the, the famous showdown with the, with the sorcerer and putting him down in front of the crowd but none of this happens today or you get Christians that claim miracle here, miracle there the idea that their cancer went away that they had a back pain that is no longer there you have the famous stories about oh well, I didn't have money for rent and yet somehow the rent money came and food was wind up being on my table I'm not talking about that I'm talking about these stories that took place in the scriptures where are those at today Where's instantaneous healing? Instantaneous. I ain't talking about you paid for a week, a month, a year, and finally some supposed healing took place. I ain't talking about none of that fake Benny Hinn stuff either. Don't, please don't come at me with that. Benny Hinn and his claims of people that are wheelchair bound and all of a sudden on his show they're leaping. People that supposedly couldn't walk and all this, all this various stuff. Nah. Hopefully, the majority of people at least know that that's all fake. I'm talking about real, irrefutable evidence of power being demonstrated amongst so many faithful servants of God. Where is it at? In the name of quote unquote Jesus. Or would it really be in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach? Or where is this at? You don't see it. Where's people being instantaneously healed? Where, where, where is it where men, uh, limbs are being instantaneously mended? Where's blind people being allowed to immediately see? You know, I'm talking about irrefutable proof. I'm talking about right there in front of the news cameras. Right there in front of non believers. Where, where, where's it at? Stuff that would pretty, make it pretty clear that something, some power out there, greater than our own capabilities, above scientific and natural explanations, is in the works somewhere under a selective group of people I'm not talking about things that can happen across the boards with unbelievers, non-believers and believers such as cancer being healed and back pain going away and things of that nature see that those stories get reported by non-believers and believers alike I'm talking about things where it's being very it's, it's clearly being demonstrated that a selective group of people have a power that's demonstrated through them via their God so where is it? The, limb, the limbs being mended. Wounds being instantaneously closed up, healed. The blind instantaneously being able to see. Resurrections from the dead. Where are they at? They're nowhere to be found. Where is this powerful, very involved directly with human affairs God at? As those days were. Don't, don't give me the stuff about what you feel inside and his presence and all that jazz. I'm talking about like it was in the past. Where's these great and mighty men of God like back then? Not these thousands of, <laughs> I don't even want to go there, but thousands of individuals that claim left and right that they supposedly are the spokesman for God. And then they become these vicious dictators over innocent victims. That's these people that have some kind of inferior complex so they have to rise above their fellow man by taking on some unquestionable position a position that cannot be questioned cannot be challenged because it's supposedly of God though God himself has done nothing in the way of showing and revealing that indeed he has given authority and power to the individual in question where is that at? That, 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 that's just my honest question where, where, where is it at? now is this just me? Is this just me, or are there others out there that think about this too? What about you Christians out there? Do, do, do any of you ever honestly really think about it? Like really go over in your head and wonder? Why is it different? Because in today's day, 2,000 years later, you would think the world could use it. So that, that, that's my question. Just, just very simple.